What is up Shark Arm, it's your boy Shark and welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing with the Beach Farm playthrough on Stardew Valley, the 1.5 playthrough. It's been so long since the last episode to this, uh, I believe the last one was episode 29, so this today is episode 30, we had to do it right. Yeah, I wasn't sure to continue this playthrough series or not, uh, obviously I, I have abandoned it for a couple of months now and that has been for a couple of reasons one being we did have quite a lot of series on the go at the same time uh, and i wanted to finish some other projects first before continuing this for example the 100 percent completion series which i did manage to finish and that was amazing i was already towards the end of it so it made sense to you know just focus on that one first but obviously we had lots of other stuff with the 1.5 update that i wanted to play and showcase i was also a part of the stardew valley cup the big event i put a lot of time and effort into that lots of practice which you know lasted a couple of weeks obviously leading up to the big day as well and then once all of that was done and I made some time and space ready for the beach farm playthrough again I kind of found it quite hard to jump back into just because I was doing so much things at the time and it was a long time since I played in this um, playthrough it was kind of hard to get back into. The beach farm is definitely not my favorite farm layout. It's very hard to play on this farm. The beach farm is very tough. Not being able to use sprinklers, the layout is very tough. Plus also, it's starting a brand new game. I am obviously so used to playing in my end game save on my 100% completion, having every tool in the game, having every item. It's all there for me and starting a brand new game for me was quite tough. I actually found it very hard to, to play through Stardew Valley from day one again and get into the rhythm of things. It is normally quite slow at the start and uh, it's been taking me some time to get into. So I was like, you know, debating to continue this. Should I just, you know, leave it, sack it off if I'm not enjoying it myself? But I know a lot of you guys have enjoyed it and you have been asking for this to continue. So I thought, you know what, let's test it out. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to stay on the channel, if we're going to continue it. But it's all down to you guys. If you really want to see it, just show the support on this episode and it will let me know. I'll get a general idea if this is something that we should be keeping on the channel, you know? And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But we're going to continue for now. It is Wednesday, the 17th of winter. It makes sense. We're in winter right now in real life. Actually, today uh, of me recording this episode is the official day of winter in the UK here. So yeah, it makes sense. Very, very cold. We've already had some snow. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get any more before Christmas. I hope so. That would be amazing. Finny boy! Obviously, I did pet him this morning, but I was already talking, so it's good to be back. It's nice to see Finn. He's going to be freezing here. Got some fruit that we're going to take out of here. I don't even know whereabouts we got to in this playthrough. It's been so long, but we've not been doing too bad. We've got a few quests here. We've got to bring Clint and Iron Bar. I've just done all the dailies. Let's get the, the recycle machines on the go. I've got any bait left. I think we do. Let's rebate the crab pots. We've actually got some beer, so if I take this wheat, I can put some more on the go. We don't need this wheat for anything, I don't think. So yeah, let's do this. Oh, we got a shed. I should have... Do I need to move the kegs in there? Yeah, I should have probably moved the kegs in the chest. But we've got some more beer to, to sell. I'm going to keep hold of that. We'll sell a big stack of it. Let's take a look at the shed, because I think this is something we got in the last episode. Yeah. So it's ready, it's built, we need to upgrade it eventually, but I'm going to start moving all the kegs in there, so once the next lot of beer is done, we'll start getting lots of kegs, fill the shed out, and we'll start making some good wine or beer or something like that, and uh, that's going to be a good source of income for us. I'm going to sell the mayonnaise and cheese, we've got some apricots, good quality ones that we'll get rid of. So Clint wants, is it just one iron bar, is that all he needs? Okay, we can maybe go and do that today, let's get that ticked off the list. I've got some ore that we can smelt into there can do two more as well let's do uh, we need some oh we need some gold definitely more gold and iron definitely got to do that i can get some more copper on the go though two copper one iron bar we've also still got to reach the bottom of the mines maybe we can do that straight away today or could do some winter fishing that might be actually quite good to get a bit of uh, extra money yeah i might do that you know We've got the fishing rod on us. We've got some bait in there. I'll take the iron bar in case we see Clint. Let's do some winter foraging, winter fishing. Let's relax. Let's chill out. What's going on with the greenhouse? Do I need to water anything in here? Or 
yeah, I remember the sprinklers do cover the whole area, which is very good. I don't have to worry about this. We've got some star fruits here, I remember in the last episode as well. And I do have some melon seeds and some more cranberries, which would be quite good to get down as well. But I'm using the bottom for all of the ancient fruit, right? Well, when these reproduce, we'll get some more in here, some star fruit as well. I want to start making some good quality wine. So that's going to be good. We've not got much money and I would like to upgrade the house to, you know, get the kitchen and stuff like that. Ailey is our girlfriend in the last episode as well. Haley is now our girlfriend, as you can see. Two more hearts and we can potentially marry her, which is going to be awesome. So maybe we can go and find her and give her a gift today. She loves her sunflowers. Have we gave her two for the week? No, we can give her one more. Perfect. So, yeah, let's go out. Let's just have some fun. Let's relax. Have a good winter forage. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm sorry there's not been an episode for this for a long time. Like I said, I've been finding it hard to get back into this and it was on my mind, like, shall I continue it, shall I not? So it was just one of them things where I just pulled it off for so long. But you know what? I've been seeing the comments. I have noticed you guys want this a lot. Um, and here it is. So just let me know if it's something you want to continue to see. And we're going into year two soon, which is going to be very exciting as well. The commune center is finished. We don't need to worry about any bundles. It's just a case of relaxing, you know, relaxing, taking our time with this, getting married. We'll start making good money. We'll redesign the farm, get lots of animals, and we'll really take this farm to the next level. I'm going to get some hardwood because I do keep forgetting to do this every day. And we're going to need this for a stable or anything like that. Get this winter forage as well. We've got some holly. Getting some mahogany seeds. Very good. Wormies. Oh, no. Wrong one. I ain't got my sword either. Mix seeds. I'll take that. We still need a sweet gem berry for this guy. I think we're growing one. I'm pretty sure. Should we do some fishing in here? Well, our fishing skill's good. Look at that bar. We've got a chest as well. Let's go down and get this. This could be a wood skip. Yep. I've still got it. We are max level with our fishing and our farming already, which is amazing for year one. Uh, and we're very close with mining and foraging and combat. We're actually doing good all round, to be honest. Even the combat, I thought I'd be struggling to get that up, but we're doing very well. Right, let's quickly get these wormies and then we'll get out of here. Oh no, we've got to get these down here as well. Let's not forget these. Some more wormies. Oh, no. No! I hate when they slow you down. Right, let's get out of here. Let's see what else is around. We still need to get into town. Probably loop around here quickly and see if I can try and find Clint at the saloon. Haley might still be at home. Oh, the winter night market. We did want to come down here as well because we can get some, um, some items that we were looking for. I'm pretty sure we wanted to come down to there. So, yeah, let's maybe pop down there as well. There's Marnie. You can use a scythe to cut feed from the grass. Or you could buy it from me, of course. I could use the cash. Adios. <laughs> Never. I'll make my own. So Haley is at home, our girlfriend. Very, very good. Let's speak to her. I think I'm starting to realize that clothes aren't the most important thing, right? Oh, finally. She's seeing sense. She's coming around. It's only took a long time, but uh, she's getting there. I still like clothes, though. I mean, what's wrong with expressing yourself a little? Yeah. Uh, I'll take that. That's not bad. There we go. Oh my god, it's my favourite thing. Nine arts, guys. Let's go. I don't think we've got any more sunflowers left, though. I'll have to try and find something else. Hopefully next year, after winter, when we upgrade the house, uh, we will ask her to marry us, and we're going to have Haley living with us on the farm. I've never married Haley in this game. Uh, I've married Leah. We've also married Jody <laughs> using her mod, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Haley brings to the household, you know. There's Abigail. Someone else who I wanted to marry. Is it boring to be a farm during the winter? Uh, sometimes. Okay, we've got two big quests here. 100 bone, 50 bats. Oh, God, I don't want to do any right now. I can't think of anything worse right now than doing a massive task. I just want to enjoy myself. Here is Jody though, speaking of her. It must be so thrilling to travel the world like they do. Oh, she just wants to escape, guys. Right, let's take a little look. What did we want from here? Okay, just some decorations, seasonal ones, which are very, very nice. Get a free coffee. Free cup of chow. Yeah. We can do the fishing. Have we got all the nighttime fish? I think there's still some that we are missing. Did we not do this? I think we need to actually go fishing down there, to be honest. I think that's what we wanted to do last time, right? We can have a look at the traveling merchant. Baked fish. Bean starters. Not bad. Puffer fish. Rice pudding, anchovy, daffodil. 
There's a rare crow. Coffee bean. Okay. Uh, corn seeds. Oh, pumpkins. Very good. Cranberries. Look how cheap they are, guys. It's really good. Amaranths. Two more rare crows as well. Fairy rose honey is very good to make money. Maybe we can get a few of these. That'd be very, very good. Pumpkins at 50 wouldn't be too bad as well. But we've got some star fruit. We've got some ancient fruit on the go. I might just keep hold of the ones we've got. But I definitely want to make some Pharaoh's honey. That'd be a good source of income on top of all the wine. I'm pretty sure we couldn't afford this last time either. We didn't have enough money or we didn't have enough time. So let's do it. I love this. This is so cool. Going so far down, it gets super dark. And this allows us to catch some new creepy fish. So cool. We're into our first one. So we can get the Midnight Squid. We can get the Blobfish. And what's, is it Spookfish? I think they're the three that we can catch, right? And there's the Midnight Squid. We can see it in the background there as well. Look at him. Look at him go. So cute. So let's try and get the Blobfish and the Spookfish as well. Look at that one in the background there. That's so creepy, but we can't catch that one. Looks like some kind of like, almost like a wasp or a bee or... Oh, they're weird. Like a prawn or a shrimp. Okay, this is new. This could be the spook fish or the blob fish. This is definitely not a midnight squid. Come on. Okay, there's the spook. So we still need the blob. Mr. Blobby, where is he? Oh, this might be him. I think it is, guys. Mr. Blobby's here. No, it's not. It's a super cucumber. I forgot you can get those down here as well. We might have to go because we could potentially pass out here. So we'll have to come back for Mr. Blobby. I know he's quite rare to find. Damn it. Right, let's get back. We'll get him another time. Let's have a look at the collection. Yeah, there we go. It's this one here we need. Damn it. Right, here we go. We can use the teleport back home. I forgot about that as well. Don't mind me. Just fishing behind your little uh, boat there. I see some bubbles, that's all. Albacore. Also, look what we've got. Copper ore. Right, we've got no more bait left. Let's get out of here. That was the winter night market. I don't think there's anything else we need. Well, we need the spook fish, but pretty sure we can get them another time. And here we go. So there's the bee. Can we put the bee houses into the greenhouse? That's amazing. So I'm going to get some fair roses in that corner. And that's going to be a little bit of good quality honey for us. Might need some more bee houses, though. I can't even sell anything. I've got no time. Let's go for another day. Oh, I should have sold all my fish. Got no money. Oh, I got pickaxes ready to pick up from Clint today, which also means we can give him the iron bar for the quest. Right, we sold some good stuff there. Let's deposit the rest, store away things. Right, I've got a letter today. Oh, my secret Santa. Who's it gonna be, guys? Put it in the comments right now. Don't cheat, all right? I'm gonna say Jody. Imagine if it's Jody. Oh, it's Linus. Okay. So we've got to give Linus something that he loves. But look, we're already great friends with him. We know what he likes. We still didn't give him anything that he loves, though. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure we'll we'll find something for him. Right, some more bars. And that's the iron bar that we're going to take today. Right, Philly boy. Good morning. Good morning. Get inside. It's cold, you daft dog. Oh, ancient fruit done today. Right, let's put the seeds and fertilizer away that I found from another chest. Keep them away in there. Uh, in fact, the pharaohs. What I'm going to do, let's try and do something here. Right, it's okay. I'm going to take away this full row here and that should reach the honey makers and we'll get some more going across as well the bee houses there we go so we can get another bee house here that's gonna be free and they'll all go to the fair roses and give us some good quality fair rose honey right let's get these ancient fruit got three more today so i need to put these in the seed makers and hopefully we can double our chances Try and get some more seeds here. This is the only way we can do it, really, to, to get lots of seeds, which is good for ancient fruit because it does stay there. It'll stay there all year round for us. There we go. Okay, two. Okay, we got four. Uh, I'll take it. So there we go. We've got a big square of ancient fruit now. Let's get all that coffee. This is eventually going to go. I only use this to drink, really, not to sell. It's a good source of speed. We'll make some more coffee. All right, I think that's good. Let's go. Sort all the animals out as well before we go into town and get Clint. Get our gold pickaxe. Wonder where that were. I forgot our cows had a baby, right? That's so cool. 
We got a baby cow. So we got Chucky, we got vanilla, and what do we call him? Fudge. Chucky vanilla made fudge. Makes sense, right? Let's get the milk in here. Get that cheese. Could maybe start keeping all of the cheese. When we upgrade the house and get the casks, we can age it. Aged cheese would be very good. Could do with upgrading the coop as well one time. Get lots of more chickens in here. Maybe some other coop animals. Ducks would be kind of cool. Get that duck mayonnaise. Right, I think that's everything done here. Let's go and get our pickaxe and give Clint. Oh, look at all these wormies. Oh my God. There's quite a lot down here. We didn't come this way last time. Also, I don't think my hardwood trees are growing. I planted them here, but they're taking so long. Either they're not growing around this area or they just take super, super long. So I'm not sure what's going on. But I have put mahogany seeds in there. Oh, yes, let's use a copper pan. Gold ore, I'll take that. And let's get our gold pickaxe today. Thanks, Clint. Oh, yes, mining is going to be so much better. I was struggling with mining. It was taking lots of hits on the rocks. Right, let's give him his uh, iron bar as well. Yay. He looks strong, perfect. Thanks, Shark. Yeah, I appreciate this. 500 gold, quest journal done. So we've got my pickaxe. I haven't got the sword, though. Could be worth going up to the mines today just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, if we go back to the bus stop, if I get my sword, I'm going to make a chest and put it outside the mines so I can always keep my mining stuff up there without having to worry about leaving it and forgetting it. So I was using this one last time, the level 8 dagger. Let's try that again today. I'll wear the copper pan hat, save some space. And what else can we leave that we don't need? I'm not going to need my scythe, my axe, my fishing rod. We'll just take these. Got some speed and blackberries for food. Yeah, let's go. We've got a few hours to kill. Let's check out the new gold pickaxe. Let's try and make some progression down there. Just like that with the elevator. What floor are we on? Oh, okay, we're on 100. We're actually not doing too bad. We are nearly there, guys. Oh, the lava eel will be good for a fish pond. I'm going to try and do that as well. Oh, yeah, this, this tag is quite good, actually. I need lots of gold as well, so if I see it, we're going for it. Wow, I really like it. Damn, it's powerful. God, these are strong. You can't mess around deep in these levels. All right, let's keep moving. We need a ladder still. Let's not forget this gold. More slimes. No, leave me alone. I do need to find a ladder, though. So come on. What you got? Oh, this one dropped. There was some gold here, though, as well. Let me try and take this. Right, I'm out of here. Bye. Right. Okay, he's one of these guys. Oh, he died so quick. So easy. Just like that. Have we got a bomb? Shall I use this somewhere? Try and get lots of rocks. What about somewhere in this corner? There's quite a lot jumped up together here. Uh, let's go like there. Yes. Got the ladder. Got some good stuff as well. And we are one more away from getting the elevator. Let's draw this right here. Maybe let's try and get down to 110. That would be amazing. Right, okay, we're going to have to break rocks or kill this crab. Bomb again. Okay, let's take this massive area out there. See if we can find something. Oh, yes, we're so lucky today. Oh, okay, let's get this. Oh, I hate these things. Very easy to kill, though. Aquamarine, there's a ladder. Anything else that we need to... Let's zoom out as much as we can. See what we can see. Because I need gold ore. Quite bad. Like this here. Oh, yeah, some more over here. It's a good luck day today because another ladder has dropped for us. We've got to be careful. We might die here. I've got a secret note. Right, let me eat some blackberries quickly. There's a ladder there as well. Perfect. Our health's looking low because they hurt. These enemies hurt when you're deep in the mines like this. I've not got much defense. Can we read this secret note now? I hid something behind the commune center. Oh, I remember this one. I think that's the gold statue of Lewis. Oh, mushrooms, diamond. Oh, this is a good floor. Another secret note. I'll take that diamond as well. Gold, quartz. It's a good floor, this one. Mushrooms all over it. 
It potentially could be a ladder for us as well. I need a coffee. I want to be faster. Fire quartz is very good. Come on, come on, come on. Two more floors. No. These slimes hurt so much. Look at my health. I'm going to kill this one in the bottom left first. I'll take the mushrooms and hopefully this one drops us a ladder. Come on. Yes, perfect. There's the ladder. Two ladders and we didn't lose any health. This dagger is amazing. Right, let's get down. One more. Let's go this way. Aquamarine, more gold ore. One more ladder and we can probably... Should we try and get five more or should we leave it there? Oh, there's the ladder. Okay, let's go down. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, we've got a good chest. Secret note, let's read this. If you can read this, come to Secret Woods, please. Bring maple syrup. So that's for the bear. Oh, a steel falcon. Falchion? Is this any good? Oh, look at the critical power and speed. Level 8 sword. I think this is even better than what we've got now. Okay, well, let's try that out as well. Another ladder already dropped for us. Wow. Look how cool this floor looks, by the way. I love the creepiness of these ones. A ladder straight away. The look is incredible. Some more gold over here. Should we take this coffee and try and get the gold? I've not got much of it at home. And I don't really want to be coming here all the time getting it. So let's try and get as much as we can before we head back. It's 9.20. We should be okay. Three more. Right, two more now. This is a good floor as well. God damn you. Yeah, this is a good sword. It's powerful. But right, I think we've got a bomb. So if I put that into the middle here, let's see what this can do. Yes, there's the ladder. Oh, ho, ho, there's another one. Anything else here? Uh, no, let's just try and get over it. There we go. Right, we did it. We've gone down 50... Was that 15 levels today? Pretty sure we won't be able to get down another five. But you know what? We did very well. Oh my god, there's another ladder already. Could this be? No, it's 12 o'clock. We're struggling to find this one. It's getting late now. Can that slime give us one? All this luck. And then we come onto this floor and we just cannot find a ladder at all. There it is. Oh, it's one of these ones. No, no, no. Oh, first hit. No way. Oh, is it this horrible floor? We need one more, guys. One more. I don't want to pass out, though. Please. All right, I've got bat. go back just in case, unless it's one of these three. Can the bat give us the luck? No. We tried. We are so close to 120. Oh, my God, that was insane. I'm not risking losing any good money or resources that we found down there. I've got lots of gold. So at least we're back on the farm. I should be able to get just into the house. So if all else fails... Oh, look at that. We made it in time. And we got an earthquake or meteor. I think that was. Explosion. Get all this beer. That's going to be ready to sell. I'm going to move all these. Finally. We're going to need... Can we do it with pickaxe? Yes. We're going to get these into our shed and start having a good wine production here. Oh, diamond's done as well. Nice. So I'm going to need to start crafting lots of these kegs. I want... A full this shed I want full of kegs. This is where I'm gonna make big big money. This is where we need to be. So for now we've got the rest of this beer that I want to make. And once all this is done, I will sell it. Uh for we've got seven more and lots of coffee as well. Right, have we got enough to make some more kegs? It's oak resin, copper, and iron. Well, look at this. Oak resin's done right there. And some more. Yes. I did want to make a lot of those. Right, let's get rid of some space here. We didn't have time last night. Let's get rid of these mushrooms. Don't need those. It's going to give us some good money. I'll keep maybe two normal just in case. I don't know if we're going to need them or not. Another letter today. Oh, algae soup from Clint. Let's go, big man. Right, what else do we need for kegs? It was iron and copper. Ah, I don't think we've got many bars of that, though, have we? Okay, we've got... We've already got no iron ore. We need to go onto the iron floors. Copper. Okay, we've got quite a bit. Let's try and get as many copper bars as we can. This shouldn't take too long. So if I take the copper, take the iron. We've not got much of that. We do more. Look at the gold ore now as well. We'll soon break that up. And then, of course, we need normal wood. What are we doing with wood? Mm, we're going to need to chop some trees down soon as well. But I want kegs, man. I want kegs. 
Where's the oak resin gone? Five. So we can make five more. Oh, I'll take that. That's very good. So let's get these in here as well. We're going to start making big money now, guys. Big money. We'll do one side first. So we need... Let's go and get some more wheat for the beer. Let's just get rid of this wheat up there. I'm going to keep that there for when we need it. I don't think it's going to disappear. Right, what's it looking like in here today? Oh, the cranberries. So we can make some cranberry wine and start storing all this away. This is what wine we're going to be making for now up until we get a good supply of ancient fruit and star fruit. Can't go wrong. I'm only going to put normal and silver qualities into the wine. The gold I'm just going to sell on their own. Let's take a look what I've got so far. 65 normal. Yeah, I'll keep the silver as well. Right, copper bar's done. Let's get some more. How much? Yeah, let's get the rest of this in there. Keep doing that for a little bit. Let's check on the animals and Philly boy. Good morning, mate. He looks so small today. Oh, he's okay. He's like he was crawling. Look how small he looks. Looks like he's shrunk. My eyes deceiving me. So winter. I'm just gonna try and get as much money as we can over winter period, and then spring next year. We'll focus on expanding and and growing our animals and stuff like that. Just right now, I'm just trying to get a lot of money prepped up. I think all the cows are old now, so we can get milk off all of them. I think fudge has grown up. Oh, that's good. We need another cheese maker now, though. Although he's only giving us rubbish milk at the moment, so... I can maybe just start saving all this. So in Iridium, right, what profession did we choose? We went for Shepherd, right? Okay, Rancher, so animal products are worth 20% more. So milk should be worth more. So our Iridium, gold milk, is more than gold quality cheese because we didn't choose the artisan profession. So we need to be selling our Iridium quality products on their own rather than selling them or turning them into cheese. Unless it's Iridium quality cheese, when you age it, then that will sell for more. But, as of now, the milk's actually better. So we're just going to sell large Iridium milk. This should give us some good money. I'll, I'll show you the difference. We'll compare later on in the day. I've got a gold cheese and a large milk. When I put this Iridium milk into the cheese press, it's going to give us a gold cheese. So if we just sell one of those, we'll see a good difference in price. Because I've, obviously I wanted to go with the animal root this uh, playthrough. I wanted to build up on the animals, make them love you faster, get your friendship up, and then later on change it to artisan when you're making big money. But it takes a long time for the animals to get quite friendly with you. And once they are max hearts, it's okay then. So that's my plan. So for now, it's not worth making artisan products. Let's just sell their products if they're high enough quality first. If that makes any sense. Okay, that should be enough of that. So I'm going to start making some gold ore after this. We've got some good copper bars now. Let's put the milk pail away. You can see already, you know, two months old and we've already got max hearts with them. They're giving us iridium quality product, so it's working out really well. I wonder if this is the same with the eggs. We need to be checking this. We are getting large iridium eggs. With the rancher profession, they sell for 228. Okay. So no matter what, mayonnaise always sells for more than the egg. So we just need to be worried about the milk at the moment. Yeah, it's the same with duck eggs. So we, we can always turn any egg into mayonnaise. We're always going to get more money worth. But it's the milk that's the problem. The Iridium milk's actually more valuable than gold cheese, which is crazy, right? I've been losing out on money all this time. Damn cows. Oh, is this what we heard? The meteor spawned right on my crop patch. Can we break that as well? Oh, we can. I'm going to do that because this we need this for spring. Geode and already more. That's the only crop space we've got that we can use sprinklers. No way am I having things on there. I think I'm going to go ahead and chop a lot of trees down today, get that foraging skill up. Plus, we need a lot of wood. We're running quite low. Let's get all the gold ore in there. Put away these as well. We've got lots of stone, but yeah, look at the wood. 510. That's soon going to go down when we start building things. So let me get my axe, and we shall get out of here. We've got a mini shipping bin. Oh, I forgot about that. That'll actually be really, really good to put into the the little shed here. So all the wine they make, I can just put it in there. That's amazing. Yes. When spring comes, I'm going to spruce up this farm as well. 
Steel axe, okay. Oh yeah, maple syrup to the secret woods. Have we got any? We do, let's go and do that today. That's a good quest. Also, go behind uh, the mayor's house. We can get the gold statue. Let's do some of these secret notes as well. Travel aid is here as well though. Might be worth having a little look. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Don't care about any of that. All right, here we go. Here's the bear. That smell. Come closer. Hmm, it's not every day that I get to speak to a human. Looks like you've got a little forest magic in you. Now, about my note. Did you bring the good stuff? Yep, yeah, maple syrup. <laughs> oh, that smell. This is really sweet stuff. It's my favorite sauce. Makes me very happy. <laughs> you've made a friend today, Sharky. A bear friend. Give me a bear hug, come on. We're a bit scared. I've got something special I want to show you. Your bum? The bear left you with his special knowledge. Salmon berries and blackberries are now worth three times more gold. Oh, that is so good. Oh, god damn. It's paused right <laughs> in the firing line. Damn thing. Well, there we have it. That's amazing. So if you go into our wallet now, or our skills, we've got the bear's knowledge here. So yeah, salmon berries and blackberries are going to be worth three times more gold. So every time it comes to salmon berry season and blackberry season, we can just start absolutely foraging for them and selling them all for good money. What did we go with with our foraging as well? Forestry. Oh yeah, trees are dropping more wood. I don't know what we're going to go with on level 10. We've gone down the wood route rather than the forage. But it's definitely worth having more wood. So we're getting lots of wood here. Hat shop. I don't think we need one, right? Could do with a winter hat, but there's none here. We need a little beanie. It's cold. Okay, so we're running out of energy. That's probably all I can do. We've got nearly, yeah, 353 pieces of wood. That's actually really good. I do see some wormies over here. Ooh, an artifact. Do we have that one? No, we don't. I'll take that. So let's head back home. We'll sort some stuff out and probably sleep and end this one there. Been quite productive. It's been obviously trying to adjust to it, get my head back around it. Remember where it was in the last one and, you know, get used to this farm and this playthrough. So it's been a bit steady and productive. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the little slow chill vibe that we've had on this playthrough series. And please, like I said as well, if you do want to keep seeing this, do let me know in the comments. Give it all the love you can, as many likes, as many comments as you can, share it. Because, you know, if it does really well on the channel and I know that you guys really want it, then I'll keep it. I will keep it on there for you guys. But I do need to know if it's something you want. Because I've been debating whether or not to, to keep it or not. So do just let me know. Let's get rid of some of these seeds because it's all going to clog up a little bit too much. What's my energy? 12. All right, we should be all right. Oh, got a shipping crate over here. Let's go. Mm, five mixed seeds. I'll take that. What did I say I was going to put over here? Maybe, in, like, yeah, I think it was. Another coop. Going to put another coop there for the duckies. I think that'd be awesome to see them jump around in the water. Right, I've got literally one energy. So let's put all of this into our storage. Get these gold bars as well. Shall I put some more on overnight? I think that's probably a wise idea. There we go. Right, let's sleep. Let's end this one. We'll also find out the prices of the milk and the cheese just to make sure we're doing the right thing here. So let's find out if it's worth keeping the milk at iridium quality or is it worth just making cheese out of it and selling that. So let's have a look. So it's going to be on farming. Oh, we've sold more than one. Okay, so we can still work this out. As you can see, there we go. I also forgot, are we on a harder difficulty with this? I think I've reduced the, um, yeah, I think we're on 50% profit margin, right? I can't remember. It must be because, yeah, these aren't selling for much. So anyway, the large Iridium milk is selling for 228 gold for us. And a cheese is selling for 206. So as you can see, we do get a little bit more money with the milk. So that's what we're going to do. The mayonnaise is selling for 171 as well. So yeah, I think I've, I forgot that we are on a harder difficulty with the profit margin. It's, it's harder for us to make money. And we've made 233k in total, so not too bad, really. Uh, obviously, in theory, that should be on nearly 500k because we've halved it. I think we're on 50%, so a bit more challenging as well. But that is it. 
we'll have to remember that for the next episode with the milk make sure we keep selling that but i'm gonna end that one there like i said this was a tester i'm not sure if there's gonna be more episodes it's all down to you guys so please do let me know and don't know if there's gonna be any more videos over the christmas period i'm not sure when i'm uploading this maybe christmas eve or christmas eve eve so yeah make sure you all do have a very good christmas day enjoy it have a magical time with your families and friends and uh, I'll see you after Christmas sometime with the next video. I've got more episodes of the Survival Island series so if you guys are wondering where that is, don't worry, I've got episodes out. Just got to edit them and uh, yeah, they do take time to edit those ones because I put a bit more energy into them episodes because they are a little bit of like role play, you know. So it takes me some time but I've also got some other videos as well. So take it easy make sure you stay safe over the festive season and I'll see you all after Christmas before the new year. I am going to enjoy it with my family and uh, take a couple of days off for Christmas. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the love and support on the channel. It's been an incredible year with a massive milestone. We've hit 100k and oh, it's, it's incredible. Thank you all so much. But until then I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.